rulings regarding Hajj and Umrah, meaning the greater and lesser pilgrimage. Hajj is defined by the linguist as intention and orientation. As for the scholars of fiqh, they define it as a religious ritual that entails traveling to the city of Mecca at a stipulated time to observe specific rites. The conditions that make Hajj obligatory include Islam. So Hajj is not prescribed for a disbeliever and it is not accepted from him. Another condition is sanity. So it is not prescribed for a mad person. Due to the Prophet's statement, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, the pen has been raised. That is, no sins will be recorded for three people. The sleeping person until he wakes, a child until maturity, and a mentally deranged person until consciousness is regained. And Hajj is not obligatory on any Muslim but those who have reached puberty. But if a minor performs Hajj, then their Hajj will be valid. As we see from the story of the woman who raised her child towards the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him and said, Can he perform Hajj? To which the Prophet replied, Yes, and you will be rewarded. Similarly, Hajj is not obligatory for one who is not free. As the Prophet peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said, Any slave who observed Hajj before his freedom must perform another after his freedom. Hajj is obligatory on those who are able, who possess the provisions and means of transportation, as Allah the Most High said. And Hajj is a duty that mankind owes to Allah, those who can afford the expenses. There is also another condition which has been stipulated for the females. And that is that a woman must have a mahram to travel with her when she performs Hajj. This is due to the saying of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. A woman must not travel except with a male, unmarriable relative. Upon hearing that, a man stood up and said, O Messenger of Allah, indeed my wife has gone out on pilgrimage and I have been enlisted to fight in such and such a battle. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Go and perform Hajj with your wife. A person who cannot perform Hajj or Umrah as a result of old age, a permanent illness or some weakness in his body due to which he cannot make the journey should have somebody perform Hajj and Umrah on his behalf. And this is valid for him even if he regains his health after his representative had entered into the state of Ihram for Hajj or Umrah. Concerning this, a woman from al khatham said, O Messenger of Allah, the obligation from Allah to perform Hajj came upon my father while he is very old and incapable of riding a camel. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Perform Hajj on his behalf. One of the conditions that have been stipulated on those who perform Hajj for another person is that he must have met the aforementioned conditions of Hajj. Also, the representative must have first performed Hajj for himself. When a person performs Hajj on behalf of another, but has not performed it for himself, the Hajj on behalf of the other person is not valid. Thus the Hajj he performed for the other person then becomes for him, and it is considered as his obligatory Hajj of Islam. The proof for this is in the report of the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him. As when he heard a man saying, Labbayka on behalf of Shubruma, he peace and blessings be upon him asked him, who is Shubruma? He replied, a brother or a relative of mine. The Prophet then asked, have you performed Hajj for yourself? He replied, no. So the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, perform Hajj for yourself, then perform it on behalf of Shubruma. Umrah is just like Hajj, as it is obligatory to perform Umrah once in a lifetime. This is because the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Islam is for you to bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. To observe salah, pay zakah, perform hajj and umrah, take the ritual bath after it is due, 
perfect the ablution and fast during the month of Ramadan. And concerning Umrah, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, One Umrah to another Umrah is an expiation for what occurs between them, that is, sins. And Hajj, Mabrur, meaning an accepted pilgrimage, does not have a reward other than paradise.